So here's the big question that people are asking. How can I play games on the Steam Deck that were designed without a controller in mind? There's a lot of games where mouse and keyboard is really the only option. And the answer is those two little pads that you have just below the thumbsticks. Now, I don't think that Valve did a good job really showing that stuff off, although I'm sure that we'll hear more about that soon. But those are not just simply a way for you to, to drag your thumb around and have a mouse. They are incredibly customizable and they will give you so many more inputs than you would otherwise be able to have on any other platform except for the Steam Deck, the Steam Controller, and PC. Let me show you how that works. I've got New World here loaded up. I've just made a brand new character and I've got my Steam Controller and basically anything that you can do on a Steam Controller, you can do on the Steam Deck and then probably some more because that thing has a touch screen too. Uh, let's take a look at how I would go through and customize a, uh, a game like this that's made with PC uh, mouse and keyboard in mind and be able to play it on this controller. Let me show you. So first off, it says WASD. I've got to use WASD. I'm going to go into controller configuration and I'm going to set my left joystick to joystick move. And now I can move around. There we go. So we've made a little bit of progress, but I still can't look because I only got the one joystick. So let's go in here. And uh, I'm not sure why that is on there. We'll reset. Oh, actually, we'll get rid of that. No mode shift. Okay. Uh, so then we'll go into here and I will set this as a mouse. And I'm going to turn on low acceleration and you'll figure out what, what sensitivity and stuff that you prefer. Um, as you play with games on the Steam Deck or on the Steam Controller. Uh, I always like haptics intensity to be high, uh, but basically what that's done is now that's turned this little circle into a mouse so I can look around. But I also really like to be able to use the gyroscope. So I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna put a gyroscope in here as a mouse. I'm going to increase the sensitivity, whoops. And then I'm going to make it so that it only works when I have right pad touch turned on. And I'm going to crank up the haptics as well. So right now, nothing's happening as I move the controller around. But then I put my thumb down and now I've got full control. All right. So we've made a little bit of progress. We can now move around and look around and stuff. Let's go to this little quest marker. All right, now they want me to draw my weapon. Now I've been playing the game, so I already know that draw my weapon is bound to Y on my controller. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and set the face buttons to just be normal face buttons. And I'm gonna set down my controller and do this with the mouse real quick. So we'll go A, uh, that's not the right A. Um, a, uh, B, uh, X, B, and then Y, and back, 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 and draw my weapon. Now they want me to block, but I don't have any way to block because I don't have a mouse set up. So, controller configuration. Oh, I actually I do have the mouse set up. So I'm gonna come up here, it says, you can't see it because my camera's in the way, but it says right mouse. I'm gonna click on that. And I've got it so a soft pull action uh, is the right mouse button. And if you look up here, it says trigger analog output. I'm going to turn that to off. That's because a mouse click is, there's no degrees of mouse click. You either have clicked or you have not clicked. So there's no analog to really worry about here. So I shut that off. Now there's a bunch of other settings in here. I'm not going to go into all of those in this particular video. If you want me to go into more of that stuff in videos in the future, leave a comment down below and let me know. Uh, so that's my right mouse button. My left mouse button is up here. We'll turn off the analog stuff and let's try it out. Block. Excellent. And now we're going to attack. And now he's going, they want me to dodge. So I'm going to bring up my controller configuration and right here, it defaulted to having this be the right stick click, but I don't want that. I want this instead 
to be my dodge. So I'm going to say shift. Actually, I'm going to dodge. And that is shift and back, back, back. So now what happens, I've got, I always have my thumb on this basically. And if I need to dodge to get out of the way, I just push hard on this and I'll dodge. By the way, the, uh, I watched a video from IGN today. I'll, I'll try and remember to leave a link in the description down below. They talked about this um, with the people from Valve uh, today. Well, they probably had pre-recorded it, but they said that instead of just having a click, this is pressure sensitive. So you get to decide how hard you need to push on, on the actual pads on the Steam Deck in order to have these things happen. Really cool stuff. I can imagine so much customization being able to happen with the Steam Deck. Uh, and man, I really hope they make a controller as well. All right, so now we're gonna heavy attack, which is just holding it down for a longer period of time. All right, they want me to talk to the captain. I don't have an interact button, so let's make an interact button. I'll come up here and I'll say, uh, this will be my interact button. So interact, and that is the E button. And if I now push this in, uh, it's going to send the game that I pressed the E button and it's going to interact. Uh, this is a little grip on the back of the um, Steam controller. On the Steam Deck, there's two on the left and two on the right, so you actually have more options there. Uh, I'm going to skip through all of this uh, quest stuff. And now they want me to loot that stuff. And they want me to open up my inventory. Now this, up until now, you're like, okay, well, it's still just mouse stuff. This is where things are going to get really cool. So check this out. I want to hit tab. Uh, I have a billion buttons that I can push. So let's uh, go in here. And I've got my, my left uh, pad. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into a menu. Uh, so instead of just being like a mouse, it can turn into a menu as well. I'm going to make it a radial menu, which means it's a menu that's like in a circle, you know, like as in a radius. And uh, my menu activation style is going to be a button click. And the first one that I'm going to do is escape. And I only know this because I played the game a little bit already. Uh, so... I know that escape closes a lot of windows. And so what's gonna happen is I'll put that escape button on there. And then if I accidentally open it, I can just close everything all at once. Uh, my menu button two is going to be the inventory. So inventory and tab. And actually we're gonna go into here and we're going to select an icon uh, that looks like an inventory. So we've got a little backpack there and I'll select it and Pick a color, we'll go with yellow, I guess. And back, and back. And now, check this out. If I put my thumb on this, I have this little uh, radial menu that I get to decide what am I gonna do. So I'm gonna bring my thumb down to the bottom, open up my inventory like it tells me to. All right, now they want me to equip stuff. So I'm going to uh, grab this and use the gyro to move it where, where they want me to. Right, and close my inventory. So I close my inventory. Now they want me to consume some food and drink in order to restore health by hitting the three button. Well, I don't have a three button on here, so I'll make one real quick. I set this back down. Uh, and obviously on the Steam Deck, you'll just be able to do this all with touching the screen, which is great. Uh, but let's go here. I'll choose an icon. Uh, we're gonna go with something that has to do with food. Uh, oh, here we go. We got a... Uh, fork and a spoon. Oh, I have to hit select. And we'll go with a green, I guess. And we'll call it food. And that is going to be the three button. All right. And now I bring this up. My menus are a little bit different now and I can eat a piece of food. All right. Escape the ship graveyard to look for my crewmates. That's what it wants me to do. So, oh, I have to be able to jump. Controller config. I want A to be my jump button, so I'm gonna go ahead and assign this to be a space bar. Jump, there we go. All right, now I can jump. All right, I just unlocked another thing. They want me to hit the K button. 
All right. Well, let's make a K button. You guys know how this works. I go into my radial menu. I click on that. Uh, this is my character menu. And that is K. Whoops. Not J. K. And some of you might be saying, well, hold on a sec. Uh, oh, let me pick something for that. Um, sure. There we go. That guy right there. Select. Blue. Back. Some of you might be like, well, what if the button, like the default button is like shift something? You can click on this button to do toggle multi-button on, and then I could do, okay, well, it's shift K. All right, but I'm going to toggle multi-button off. It's just K. All right. So we'll go ahead and bring that up, and we'll look at my character. And there we go. Open that up. I'm going to go with Swordmaster and commit a point. And now it wants me to make it a button for Q. So let's go ahead and do that. So close the mastery screen with escape. Let's bring this up. Um, and for Q, I'm going to put that on my right bumper. And that's just going to be Q. And then the other things were R and F, I think. So if you look at the bottom right, we have Q, R, and F as like our skills. Uh, and if you look, we got three, four, five, and six as well. So we've got Q, R, F, three, four, five, six. Like we're running out of buttons, but we're not. Don't worry. Uh, there's so many different things that you can assign on here. It's just absolutely crazy. But let's go ahead and assign R and F. I'm going to put uh, this as F on the back. So if I use this button right here, that's going to trigger the F ability, whatever that is. And this will be R. And uh, let's keep going. All right, Q. Nice, that's a cool one. So now I'm going to put auto run on this pad right here. But you might be thinking, well, hold on a sec, Bill, you've already got um, the mouse on that pad, you have the dodge on that pad. How are you also going to add auto run to that? Well, it's actually pretty easy. I'm going to click on that, bring it up. I'm going to go to additional settings. Under additional settings, I'm going to go to double tap binding. I'm going to call it auto run. And we're going to select equals. And now check this out. Double tap. My character's running. Double tap. My character stops. Double tap. Hold on. There we go. I must have been stuck on something. Double tap my character runs. And then if I just adjust the joystick, it stops. So there's all of these different things that you can do. There's just setting after setting after setting that you can customize. You can go in and turn on like beeps. So when you double tap, it beeps at you. And then you've, it, you'll you hear that and register. Oh, okay. I double tapped. So now I know why. Um, if you want to change basically what is horizontal on your trackpad you can do that with the rotation you can go into mode shifting so if i want i can set it so that anytime that i have a, a left trigger full pull i can set this to be instead of a mouse we can say all right well it's going to be a touch menu um with Three things. We'll say three, five, or, well, that's not a five and nine. Three, six, and nine. All right. Now, what happens is normally this is my this is my mouse, but if and I wouldn't do this in this game, but if I if I pull the trigger back, now this brings up a menu instead, although I don't know where the nine is. Maybe I didn't actually save it, but you kind of get the picture uh, of how that works. It's really, really cool. Uh, so there, this is infinitely customizable and because it's so customizable, it allows you to play games on the steam deck and on a controller like the steam controller when you never would be able to any other way. And that is one of the reasons why, as soon as I saw those little track pads on the steam deck, I knew that I had to get one of those things because this is going to let me play games that I otherwise wouldn't be able to play because I don't like using mouse and keyboard to play games. And I know there's a lot of you that will disagree with me on that. That's totally fine. Anyway, if you found this video useful at all, make sure that you give it a like. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. And if you want to get notified each and every time that I post something new or when I stream and go live, 
click on those bells in order to get the notifications. I'll see you all next time. Take it easy, everybody. Bye-bye.